Our top story, the recovery of nine more bodies from violence in districts of Assam has taken the death toll to 32. The state government, meanwhile, has decided to hand over the investigation to the National Investigating Agency. On the political front, though, the blame game and mudslinging continues. Even as death in Assam continues to mount, politics has taken over. Hindu in election season, Mamda Banerjee is not the only one trying to score political points. The Congress, the left and the National Conference are using the Assam killings as a political weapon against Narendra Modi. Suddenly 30 Muslims are killed in, in, in unprovoked violence. Clearly there is a connection somewhere. You cannot lead this country by fear. You cannot lead this country by division. And that is why we are so keen to see somebody like Rahul Gandhi assume the office of Prime Minister because he is not trying to scare people into voting for him. The vatavaran has been in Hindustan today, the Sampradayak vatavaran has been born in Hindustan. This is Shri Narendra Modi. Kapil Sibyl and Omar Abdullah's alluding to Modi's rally in Kolkata, where he targeted Bangladeshi migrants. The BJP is trying to put most of the blame on the Tarun Gogoi government in Assam. Where more than 20 people are killed, uh, particularly Minorities, that's what uh, media is saying. And Prime Minister is happening that state. Why is the Prime Minister silent? When the situation is violent, why the Congress President has not gone there to visit them? The probe into the killings has now been handed over to the NIA, with the Gogoi government increasingly being blamed for his inability to protect minorities. Already victims of apparent political differences, this apathy is a double blow. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.